at all? Video production, uh, any of Photoshop, anything technology wise? No. I do? Watch my Photoshop. Because I was. I don't know. What, what, what if I said? Okay. What if I said? What if I said that there was a class that you could learn all of that stuff in? So, what would you say is your favorite part about radio broadcasting? I think my favorite part is the product you have for basic guidelines, but you can do whatever in those guidelines. Like he says, make a music video. Like you could do stop animation. You could do something that made absolutely no sense, but, you know, it matched, like, the beat of the song, or you could do a video to go along with the lyrics, it didn't really matter. I describe it as a fun class where I can video edit and record fun video. It's a really creative class, and, like, it, you have to use your mind, you can create ideas in, you use other people's ideas and mash them together and have one big idea. And it's just like, it's fun and it's ch it challenges you. It's a really free class. Uh, you can, what, when we get assigned a project of any kind, what we'll do is usually we'll go out, film it, come back, uh, do post production, do any kinds of other production we need to do. Usually, maybe, it usually takes about a week, maybe, a week and a half, two weeks depending on the size of the project, so there's a lot of, it's free time, but you've got to know how to use your free time wisely. There's, there's not really a strict schedule or a daily plan that other classes have. And what would be one of your favorite projects we've done so far? I think my favorite was the 14 shots, because you could do whatever you wanted, like, you didn't have to follow like a certain theme, it just had to flow well, with transitions and all that, and my group and I had a lot of fun doing it. I would have to say the music video, and that's because I got to do it with two of my friends, and I think it turned out really well. So. Um, I have two favorites. My first favorite was the first thing we did, which was the All About Me project. All about me, yeah. Um, that was really fun because I, like, even not knowing what I'm doing, I, I did pretty good, and I was pretty proud of my project. Um, and then the second favorite was the, our most recent one, which was the 14 shots and we were in like different angles, like high angle, pan, all that stuff. And so it was really fun learning that stuff that you can use later on. My favorite project was probably the music video we did. Uh, not just because it was fun to film it, but it also turned out uh, very well as well. Uh, apparently everybody liked it. Uh, it seems to be fairly popular. All right, we're just going to get right into this thing. I'm Jeremy McGrath. And I'm Alex Sacker. And we're going to talk about RTB, and he's going to dissect it down a little bit for us to get started. Okay, so RTB is radio and TV broadcasting. In this class, we'll use Adobe a lot, such as Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition. Now, for those of you who don't know what those are, Adobe Premiere is a uh, the program where you get to edit an entire video, uh, mash up clips together to make a video, and while Adobe Audition is where you just uh, edit vocals, you can auto-tune, you're singing, whatever you want to do, tag in. Along with uh, a Premiere and uh, After Effects and Audition, uh, you got Photoshop, you got all the Adobe tools that you need, and if you don't know anything, you can just start from scratch. I mean, if you are willing to learn, and if you're creative, then this is the class for you. Uh, it's highly recommended. We're going to talk about the equipment we use in RTB. Cameras will be your most valuable asset. You will use them for everything, from music videos, to compilations, to about you videos. Everything. Tell you. Uh, you use many different kinds of pods. Monopod, tripod, bipod. What are those Polypod. Do? Whatever a polypod is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about how to go from an idea to the final product. It all starts with the idea. You have to think about how you're going to go from scene to scene. If you put it on a storyboard with descriptions on what the scenes are about so you can remember when you take the scenes and the shots. Every shot should be smooth and have continuity. Precise and good quality and continuity. And good I already said continuity. continuity. It all starts with the idea. You must think your idea, put it on paper. Shot, shot, 
shot, shot, shot, shot. Just so you can know where you're going. You have to know your limitations. You have to think, you know, how are we going to go from this scene to this scene? You have to think about that because if you just, you know, have an idea and you don't know how you're going to make it go smoothly, you got nothing.